One of the trials that was presented at this meeting, the Bolero 1 trial, looks at the incorporation of an mTOR inhibitor, which is important in, important in a signaling pathway that may be responsible for trastuzumab resistance. And that trial really looked at first-line patients who are receiving uh, a taxane plus trastuzumab plus an mTOR inhibitor, Everlimus, versus just the chemo plus trastuzumab. And what that trial found was, in a sense, nothing that was all that remarkable. Uh, the addition of the mTOR inhibitor for the entire population didn't really improve outcome to any great degree. There were a subset of patients um, where there did seem to be some benefit, but for the group as a whole, it wasn't clearly evident. So I think that uh, strategies for overcoming uh, trastuzumab resistance or anti-HER2 therapy resistance still requires a great deal of work.